I'm John Ochens, and welcome to the Oxford Wildcats School Update. M-STEP is back in the news again. That's the new test the state of Michigan is using to replace the traditional MEEP that we're all used to. It seems some parents in Oakland County want to opt their kids out of taking the test. We asked our assistant superintendent of instruction, Ken Weaver, if he was seeing any of that here in Oxford. Not too much. We've had a few cases where parents would like to opt out their, their children from the test. Um, there is no legal um, right to do so. Um, you can opt your children out of a lot of things, such as uh, some parts of the curriculum that have to do with health reproduction. You can opt out of some surveys, and you have a parental right to know on surveys and stuff like that that asks specific information. But there is no legal basis for an opt-out request for a parent out of the test. And quite honestly, um, you know, the schools are really caught in the middle between this. We're held to be to, to test uh, all of our children uh, that are in the schools. Um, we're the ones that end, end up having to deal with the ramifications if we don't test um, all the kids. And we have to jump through certain hoops. So you make it tougher on the school, actually, if you try to opt out your child. And I know it's a tough decision. You try and do what's best for your child. Weaver brings us up to date on other aspects of the test. Test. It's an online test, um, so it's different than what it was before. Um, we've had a lot of things to get ready for and try to figure out because uh, it's a whole new process, uh, completely new now that it's online. So, in trying to communicate that, the state is to all the different schools and trying to get us all set up because um, every kid has a, you know, a little bit different situation. Um, we've got kids that have accommodations and we've got to be able to set those up um, prior to the kid taking the test. We've got to set up uh, testing sessions for the kids. Um, also, we've got to have devices that they can test on for every kid. Um, and we don't have enough devices for every kid to have their own, so you got to set up a schedule for that. Um, so it's a lot different. Before, we had the whole school shut down for one day um, or a couple of days, and they, they would take the, that section of the, the MEEP, as it was called then. Um, now, because of the way it's set up with the, needing the testing devices, um, it's about seven or eight weeks of testing. Now, it's not constant every day every hour testing but it's seven or eight weeks of having the the normal school schedule the national association of music merchants is recognizing nearly 400 school districts in 46 states for excellence in music education and oxford is one of them the program singles out districts for outstanding efforts by teachers administrators parents students and community leaders who have made music education part of the core curriculum I spoke with our current superintendent, Dr. William Skilling, about this. Yes, the reason we got this award is because we were able to demonstrate our comprehensive support of music education K-12. Uh, they look at how much funding you put into the music program per student. They look at the ability of students to access music at all grade levels. Uh, for instance, in the K-8, every student has to be in music. In the high school, we have a two-year fine arts requirement. So we have a really strong commitment to the arts, uh, looking at it from a funding aspect to uh, student access and also to how comprehensive our music programs are in terms of the, the multiple offerings we have. This is the second year in a row that we've earned the honor. Last week was the final game of our Special Olympics Pause Competition. It took place at Lake Orion High School where our kids paid back theirs for our defeat last month. The final score, 26 to 23, with Oxford the winners. Way to go, guys. That's the Oxford School Update for this week. Dave Kenny is next with Science in the News, followed by Jamie Hughes with Wildcat Sports. This is Oxford Community Television, keeping it local.